hi guys welcome back to my channel long time no tutorial so today we are going to be diving into advanced email management see i know i've already taught you how to manage email as a virtual assistant and if you missed that i want you to please go back and watch it on my channel because that is the first step you need that before this one so i don't want you to skip that that is part one this one is part two and if you don't watch that one you might not understand what i'm talking about in this video by the time i start sharing my screen so what i want to show you today is advanced part of email management like i said we are going to be learning how to clean up your client inbox how to create email templates how to create a filter you know things like that but that filter i don't know how to explain the filter now but once i start sharing my screen you will understand because this is something every professional virtual assistant must know and why am i teaching you this advanced email management guys i got a gig like the client asked me to clean up his inbox and the client paid me 150 dollars like i was like i can't believe this is this is a gig on its own and the client hired me because i have other skills i've shown that i have relevant experience and you might even have a client that they want you to manage their emails they want you to clean up their inbox and if you don't know how to clean that inbox that means you're not a professional virtual assistant that is where i'm going to take my time today and share my screen and show you how to clean up your client inbox and other advanced email management that you need to know so without wasting much of our time let's dive right into the tutorial let's go so the first thing i'm going to be teaching you is how to clean up your client inbox some clients if you look at their inbox they have over three thousand on red messages like three thousand four thousand and they might ask you like hey can you clean this up for me some people even take this as a gig like i will clean up your inbox for you like some people have it as a gig like if you go on Fiverr, you simply say that I can clean up your inbox for you. No matter the number of red messages, I can clean it up for you. Now, that is what I'm going to show you today, how to clean it up. Now, I want you to understand that one of the things that do eat up people's inbox is all these promotional messages, all these marketing, newsletters, all those things. That's the thing that always eat up people's inbox. Now, the first thing you want to do is to scroll down look at this thing more click on it then click on manage subscription when you click on manage subscription you are going to see all the emails that you've subscribed for like all the newsletters everything that they keep sending you promotional messages that you don't need now the first thing you need to do is to also no before you even unsubscribe you want to note down all the mails you want to note down all the mails. Now, when you note everything down, my own is just showing to some people, it might show like 1 million. <laughs> I'm just exaggerating, like 20, 30. So you want to ensure that you note down all the mails. When you write them down, or you can just note them somewhere, then you start unsubscribing, unsubscribing, unsubscribing. By the time you unsubscribe, they will stop sending you promotional messages or these newsletters. They will stop sending it to you. Then... After that, the next thing you want to do is to now copy this email one after the other. So for the sake of this class, I'm going to use one as an example. Let me use this and as stone massage. I've unsubscribed from it before, so I'm just going to copy it. Let's assume it is part of this subscription. Remember, let's assume it is part of this subscription. Then I'm going to come back to my inbox. The moment I have copied the mail and I've unsubscribed from the mail, do you understand? Then you come to your inbox, then you search for the mail. The moment you search for the mail, you're going to see all the promotional messages that they've sent to you. Can you see? Then you can select and start deleting them. I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense. First, you need to unsubscribe. That's the first thing. Come to manage subscription, unsubscribe, but note down all these emails before you unsubscribe. Then after that, you now search for the mail here. Once you search for it, then you can now batch delete them. Which means that they will free up your inbox and you will also stop receiving any messages from them. That is how you do this. So you do that for the rest of the newsletters as well. Is that clear? The next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to create... A filter 
out to create a filter. It is still part of cleaning up our inbox. And I'm going to explain. Now, for example, let's assume that this hand and stone massage, they are important emails. Like they are, or can I say, we need the email, but they are not compulsory. Let me put it that way. It might be Slack notifications. It might be Monday.com notification that you need, but you don't just want them in your inbox. That whenever they send you the mail, you just want it to come to, to the labels. And you can always check them whenever you need it. I know what I'm saying might not make sense to some people, but let's start from creating the labels. That's why I said, if you don't watch the first email management video, you might not understand what we are doing here. So now the very first thing we need to do is to create a label. So let's create a label for hand and stone massage. Let's assume that all the emails that are coming from hand and stone massage are important emails. But we don't just want them in our inbox. We want to focus on important emails and other things that they are not important, but we need them can still go to our labels. So the very first thing we need to do is to create the label. Then we are going to name it hand and stone massage. Then we are going to do what? Create the label. Now, the filter we want to create now is that any message, any email coming from these people should skip our inbox. It should not even come to our inbox at all. It should just come here. Remember during the part one of the email management, we moved this manually to the labels. For this one, we want to create a filter that whenever they send us a mail, we will not even see it in our inbox. It will come directly to the labels. That is what we want to do now. So you might do this for either Slack notification. Maybe your client used to receive some important emails from some people and you just want to create a labels for it so it goes there directly and you don't have to worry about it. I just hope people understand what I'm saying, Sha. Yeah. So that is what I want to create now. Now, what we have to do is to note down the mail. The email used to come from this person. Now, we want to say, don't come to our inbox. Whenever they send me this email, just go directly to the labels. That's what we want to do now. Then, we are going to come to this place. See this show search option. Follow my mouse. Can you see? Then you come there. From who is this email from? They will paste the mail. Can you see? You select it. As the word, you might choose an and stone massage, but for me, I might not write any word because I shall know that. Any emails that is coming from this particular email, that is what I want. Dates within, come to this date within. Then you select like a year or two years or three years. What I'm saying is that all the emails from this person from the past. And in the future, all the mail should come to this label. So you can choose within one year, within three years, you know. So that is it. So this date. Can you see? This is today's date, October 20th. Now, I will now click on create filter. Create filter. Let's allow this load. Then this will pop up. Now, this is all saying that whenever we receive the email from this person, Skip the inbox. Don't click on mark as red because you still want to be seeing the notification like this, like you have on, on red messages and you can always go there. Now, it is saying apply the label. That is when we will now choose this hand and stone massage because we've already created the labels. So, we'll select it. Then, we'll click on also ap apply filter to 22 matching conversation. This thing has already told us that we've received over 22 messages from this person. So I'm saying ap I apply filter to the remaining 22 matching conversation. So I'm saying that carry all the email, move all the emails from this person to this label. And anyone that is coming in the future should also go to this label and skip my inbox. That way I'm only focusing on important emails. And I can always come and check this one later. Then we'll click on create filter. The moment I click on it, something will start moving now. Let's, can you see that my filter is moving? Can you see everything is moving? Can you see moving, 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 moving? And when you come to this understone massage, can you see all the meals are here? All the meals are here. 
And whenever any emails keep coming from this hand and stone massage, you will not see it in your inbox. You will only see it here. But you will see the notification like you have like four messages from them. Can you see this for showing in front of it? And you can now click on it and you can check. That is another way to clean up your client's inbox and make it organized. You start from, by unsubscribing, deleting all the irrelevant emails by batch deleting them. Then you also create a filter for maybe their Slack notification, their Monday notifications, whatever notification that they receive on a daily basis, but they are also, you know, necessary, but basically not important. Now, the next thing I'm going to be teaching you is how to create email templates. Email templates. This is very important if you are an executive assistant, if you are a customer support, and there's a particular mail that you keep receiving and it's the same response all over and all over again. And you're like, you know what, let me just create a template so that whenever they reach out, I can just use the template and I don't have to create it from scratch again. Some applicants, some people searching for remote jobs also use this because they now have templates for each job application. You can also use this. Now, the very first thing I want you to notice is that you might not see the templates in your inbox unless you do this particular settings. And that is what I want to show you now. Now, I want you to come to your settings. You can only do this on your laptop. Come on to settings. You see this setting, follow my mouse, click on it. Once you click on the settings, click on see all settings. Then come to this advanced. Can you see advanced? Click on advanced. Then you see templates. These templates you see there. Then you enable it. You enable it. Remember, go to settings, all settings, advanced, then enable templates, and you click on save changes. So it will reload your mail for you. Then after that, we can now create our template. Now, let's start. Now, come to this compose as if we want to compose a new mail. Then you click on compose. Then you see these three dots. Follow my mouse. Though. Follow my mouse. You see these three dots. Just click on it. You see templates. Then Okay, the very first thing, sorry, <laughs> let me start again. <laughs> like the very first thing you want to do is to do what is to paste the template that you want to use. For the sake of this class, I'm just going to name it lifetime membership document. So let's assume these um, are frequently asked questions and you just want to save it and you can use it for future purposes. Or maybe you want to be using it for job applications and you don't want to like keep typing, typing, typing again. I want to have a template for it, even though I don't support using one cover letter for several jobs. But I'm just using that as an example. You should just get this. Now, I want to save this as a template. Now, I'll first paste this here, put the subject to because it is important. Then you will come to these three dots, come here, click on templates. Then you see save draft as templates. Then you click on save as new templates. It's like I'm speaking in tongues. Let me start again. Paste this thing. Once you've pasted it, you've input your subject. Come to these three dots. Click on template. Save draft as template. Save as a new template. Then it will ask you to do what? To rename to name your template. Uh -huh. Then you can now name it lifetime or whatever works for you. Lifetime or whatever. And you click on save. Then you've done what? You just save your template. Now, in the future, someone message me and I want to send the same mail to the person. I'll just come to the compose. Then I'll click on these three dots again. I'll come to templates. Then I'll select the lifetime templates. Can you see? You will see the subject. You will see the, the mail. Then you can just edit, put the person's email address and you click on send. That will save you a lot of what? A lot of edit. So let me know if this makes sense. So that's all from me for now. And I'll see you later. <laughs> And that's it, Bestie. Now you know the advanced way of managing your client's inbox. And I want you to remember that it is not just about replying to emails. It's about making the whole process clean, 
professional and stress-free for your clients and if you find this video helpful do not forget to do what to hit the like button subscribe if you have not already and drop a comment and don't forget to do what to share this with someone who also wants to become a virtual assistant and learn how to clean up inbox like this one and i'll see you in my next video bye bye